Okay, welcome to Maya 7, um, this introduction section. Uh, it's been laid out in a way that I'm just going to go over all the fundamental features like the panels, the, the simple objects, show you all the different modes that you can use. I've laid this course out in such a way that um, you're actually manually doing things rather than entering things into input boxes. Um, because I think entering things into input boxes that I give you the numbers for isn't really going to help you creatively because you're just typing numbers in there not really knowing why it's doing that, why it's doing this and uh, to actually manually do things and then I'll show you the input, what the, what the input sections are, are outputting anyway so this way it gives you a much better understanding of the program in a much shorter time frame there's lots of training books that just give you uh, a robot that you're going to create and then it'll just give you loads of numbers create this sphere uh, set this to 180 etc uh, etc et and you don't really know what's going on it takes you a lot lot longer to figure it out so I'm trying to structure this to basically this introduction section is going to cover all of the basic elements of of what we're doing and then we'll move on to a project um, that project's going to be a spaceship nice simple thing to start with that all should get you should get you motivated and excited to do more in Maya and that's what this course is all about to get you working with Maya and trying to create your own your own designs and ideas also bear in mind that you can work for if you're not creative you could work from drawings you could work from from measurements uh, in anything that you see in the outside world if you get a CD you measure it across um, you create a disc um, there you go there's a CD for you so you can work, you don't have to be creative to work in Maya, but it helps, it's a very creative program and creativity is what Maya is all about, especially when we get into animating and uh, watching what's going on in the world around you and trying to simulate that in this environment. So this is the short introduction to Maya 7, I hope you enjoy it and after this introduction we'll move on to a real project that uh, should get you really motivated. Okay, see you soon.